big third period next. He's Ray Ferro, I'm James Sabalski, and we are ready to get this third period going. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray Ferraro scores! Three straight goals here. They have really laid the boots to those guys in the last little bit. Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. The Avs are on absolute cruise control here in the third. Well, they've built such a large margin, you can use your whole bench and coast it in. And that's off a stick. Colorado's got the puck along the boards. Here's an odd man rush. Colorado's got the puck behind the net. Quick shot. Oh, fantastic save by Ottinger. He's got to work hard to find the puck through all the bodies right in front of him. He's got a step. What a save. He stayed with him the whole time. Once you make the fake, if the goalie doesn't bite, you're in big trouble. That's what happened there. And that's picked off. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Skates in behind the cage. Wrist went in front. That's blocked. Heiskanen's lugging the puck. Dallas is on the attack. Picked up along the boards by Sagan. Answers the call big time. What a stop by Kemper. Colorado's got the puck against the boards. Chance right in front. Scores! Is that, is that 50 now in the year? Yeah, good math there, James. I thought when you got your shoes off the count that we were in trouble, <laughs> but you got it right. Always nitpicking my math. Not bad year, though. He doesn't waste any time getting this puck off his stick. The snapshot beats the goaltender from the high slot. The Avalanche have continued to apply the pressure here in this third period. I think even if they try to take the pressure off, it's not gonna matter. They're just the better team. Gains the zone through the middle. Poked away in the defensive end. Denies the shooter on that play. Kemper's had a solid night here. Save percentage is really good while they've built a comfortable lead. And now he moves it quickly to Hintz. And they score! And some signs of life here up one end of the, end of the bench. Well, you gotta dig in for anything positive you can. I mean, if I'm the goal scorer, I'm pretty pumped that I got on the board. But you look up at the big board and you realize you got a long way to go. The team's got to dig in a little bit here. Can you get another quick one? Can you get yourself in some way, shape, or form back in this game? Manson's gonna play it against the half wall. Cutting to the front of the net, scores! What a counter punch! Wow, that didn't take very long. After giving up a goal, they get right back onto the attack. I always found this to be a real difficult spot to put a player into. You bring in a relief goaltender, he's cold. Now he's got to keep the game static. He doesn't provide the save here. The Avalanche have extended this lead. In these moments, do you want run time and just, you know you've got it in the bag, or do you want to continue to pour it on here, Ray? No, I think everybody wants one more cookie. Oh. <laughs> Keeps hold of the puck. Moves around along the half wall. Manages to hang on. Here's a chance behind the net. Shot! Oh, what a stop with the blocker by Holtby. Uh, he's gonna feel he missed one there. You don't get many chances that clean. The goalie turns it aside. The Avs played along the wing. Puck scooped up by Klingberg. The Avs gain possession along the wall. Nice pass. Long reach breaks up the momentum. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Radulov. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. And he takes a shot. Denied by the goaltender. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. 
Comfort is going to play it from the back of the cage. He scores! I believe a colleague of ours likes to call those back-to-back. -back. Yeah, the coaches want you to stay aggressive after you score. They do that, and they're able to put another one up on the board. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. The Avs have put in a complete team effort tonight, but they really look good offensively. Their arms are going to be tired from all the times they've had them up in the air here. This has been a <laughs> dominating offensive performance. No kidding. Skates to the crease. And he slides it quickly to Ben. Under a minute to go here in regulation time. Dallas plays it against the boards. With the stop. Quick pass across to Sturm. Here's Paul, puts it off the iron, had the side of the net, but doesn't go. The Avs continue to lead, but man, they've been close a number of times. That post is going to need to be repainted. And now it's over to Lindell. To the low slot, scores! Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Colorado's won it. McCarr's got the puck. Taken by McKinnon. Can't pull the trigger. The Stars look to start the transition game. Knocked away by Rantanen. The Stars get a hold of it. Tripped up on the play, delay penalty coming up. Final horn is sounded, bringing this one to an end. It's like the old song goes, all they do is win, win, win. Man, it's fun when you play like this. Your team goes into a game you almost know you're gonna win, and they've put together a long winning streak. And the good times aren't over just yet as they come back out. Hey, this is supposed to be fun. You win, the fans are having fun, you get to go and say thank you for them. That's a great night for everybody here. For my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, my name is James Cebalski. Thanks so much for joining us. Good night.